beautiful. It's beautiful. Isn't it? I found this place a couple of months back. I'm not quite sure why I like sitting here. I just, I just do. What the hell's this about, Stephen? I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, I've got a lot to tell you. Right, yeah, well, it better be good, because I'm coming out into the middle of nowhere, out in the sticks, trying to find my best friend. It's not something I like doing. I mean, what's happened to you? There was this guy I met a few months back. He was high on something, drinking, down in a pint of ale. Whiskey chasers. guys that you just don't really want to be but you find yourself growing more and more like every day. It's like a reminder of the end before the end. You're not making any sense. What, what, what's happened to you? I'll get to that. Anyway. Well this guy he's started to just ramble on for ages, he was not even breathing in between sentences, talking my ear off and it struck a chord in my daydream, just wandering little thoughts, just reminded me that I was going to be this guy, I was in a few years time, I was going to be exactly like him, nothing to live for, nothing to do but popping pills, shooting up, did I want to be this guy? preaching to the converted. You know, who the hell wants to be like that? Exactly. So what are you going to do about it? Listen, I'm failing uni, I'm up to my eyeballs in debt, I cut my balls off of the decisions I made years ago. My point is, nothing. There's nothing humanly possible I can do. Oh, bullshit. Look, get off your ass and go back to uni. I mean, sitting here and, and staring at everything, it's, it's all very nice, but it's not going to help your chances. What am I going to do? Just sit and push trolleys at the supermarket all day? Pack people's bags at a checkout with a smile on my face? This life is a merry-go-round, Pete. We're just going round and round, and we're going to end up right back here in the shitter. I want you to know one thing, Steve. I'm with you. What the hell is your point? Alright. Well, this guy... He wasn't just sprouting drunk conversation. Talking about high life and wishful thinking. He started to make sense. I started talking about, well, if I can't change my life humanly, then could I do it inhumanly? Right, um, I'm going. Pete, just wait. You've come this far, just hear me out. Well, you're not making any sense, my friend. I mean, well, you're not the guy that I used to know. I mean, you've, you've, you've been drinking. You, I you what? Look, you, you fucking stink. Please, Pete, just hear me out. Where have you been all this time? It's simple. I've been here. I've been here. This, this is nowhere. I, where have you been staying? Listen, I'll tell you later, but first you just... Pete, you've got to promise me one thing. You'll keep an open mind. No matter what you hear, you'll keep an open mind. Well, fine. I mean, just as long as you answer my questions. I will do. But we'll have to go to where I've been staying for the past few nights. And I'll answer in there. Well, where, where is it? It's the house on the hill. It's not far. Okay. Pete. 